Hey everybody, what's up? How you doing? Uh, okay, so if any of y'all are familiar with uh, St. Paisios of Mount Athos, um, you may have heard uh, one of his famous sayings that our thoughts are like an airport, or rather our mind is kind of like an airport, and the thoughts are the airplanes. And we are kind of like the uh, air traffic control people in that we decide which planes land and are allowed to enter into our mind. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm like, if that's true, or if we're going to run with that, then I should have been fired from my post as an air traffic controlman a good long time ago. You feel me? Um, and I don't know, I just think about that because, you know, I never like control well, not never y'all know what I mean I, I don't I don't like I, I rarely uh, uh, control the planes that land at my airport uh, or at least I don't do it as nearly as much as I should you feel me and uh, let's think about that today and I think we, we all need to at least make the effort yeah I mean make the effort to be a little bit more um, careful about what we allowed to land at our airport. You know what I mean? What what goods we allowed to go in and out of our heart, man. Because uh, I've been thinking, you know, I spent years, you know, I'm 30 this year, thanks be to God for that. I, I spent years uh, allowing all types of bad stuff into my head, you feel me? All types of just un necessarily just messy stuff into my mind. You know what I mean? It just pollute all of my stuff up. You feel me? And, um, you know, I don't need to do that. You know what I mean? I think, I think one thing that I get into the habit of is if I, if I got a particular sin, a particular issue that I'm bothered, uh, that I'm weak to, you know what I mean? And it's just easy for me to fall back into it. I, I I get to the point where it's like, I almost feel like I have to do it. Like I'm just so accustomed to repeating the same sinful behavior that it's like, I got, I got to keep doing it. You know what I mean? Like I got to keep doing it. Like I have to continue this way of, of behaving because I've been doing it for so damn long. I can't not do it. You know what I mean? Like, what the hell am I going to do if I don't do it? You know what I mean? And, um, you know, I go to confession, and I'll bring this up, you know, and priests will tell me, it's like, you know, you don't need to rush. You know, Nicola, don't, you can't force yourself to improve. You can't force yourself to do better. You can't force yourself to instantly change. You know what I mean? You got to go slow with it. And that damn show is real painful. You hear me? It's like, you don't want to do that. You, you want to just get rid of it. You know what I mean? You just want wants to do better and be better. But that ain't what we told to do, now is it? The Lord told us to pick up our crosses and follow them. And, and you know what I mean? That ain't necessarily an easy thing to do. So we got to take, take it a day at a time. You know what I mean? And so I was thinking about the thing that St. Paiso said about choosing which ones you let land and, you know, and I was thinking about how I keep on just subconsciously feel like I got to continue the same behavior because I've been doing it forever. But then I'm thinking, well, no, I don't. You know, I need to remember that I chose the, the, the behavior. I chose the actions. I chose to look at this. I chose to say this. I chose to do that. Um, now, I may may have been completely because I'm weak to something. But I, I think, you know, remembering that it's my choice is kind of helpful in a way. It's like, yeah, I keep on making the bad choices. But if I can willingly make a bad choice... I should be able to willingly make a good choice, if that makes sense. You know what I mean? So it's like, yeah, I, you know, like, you know, um, recently I was on the internet 
And, um, you know, I was like, I, I'm choosing to do this. Then I need to slowly choose to not do it. You know what I mean, and that's hard. We all know that's hard. We all know it's real hard for us to not do stuff that we were weak to. But I think there's a there's a, a kind of a beauty in remembering I, I still have a choice. It may be incredibly hard for me to make that choice, and, and, and with God's help, I can get better at it. But it's I have a choice. I can I have some ability to do something. I'm not I'm not completely a slave to whatever the the passion that that is is you know oppressing me. You know what I mean? If that, if that makes sense. I mean, it's like I I may be completely weak to this thing. I may com be just every time it comes up, I just give in to it. But there's some part of me that still has that choice to slowly back away. And it may truly take a long ass time. But thank God I can at least make the effort to slowly back away. That's, you know, we always, that's why we always go to confession and receive, receive forgiveness. That's why the Lord's always there. It's like, I, I, I forgive you. I forgive you. Because we always, you know, we fall down, but, but thank be to God, thanks be to God, we can get up. We can get up. Even if it's only to fall right back down again, we can at least get back up and just that's a beautiful thing like it reminds me also of that story that um saint pais he was told of that one i think turkish greek monk who was born in uh i think during a period of uh oppression or, or military occupation or something and the story goes that uh, when this particular monk was a baby his parents had to give him like a alcoholic beverage to kind of numb him so it wouldn't wouldn't cry so much so the folk wouldn't him and that led to an addiction later on in life you know i mean like he was like a heavy 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 drinker and um you know when story goes he went to mount athos and would continue drinking you know like he'd be man would be drunk damn near every day you hear me and um uh when he died it's as as it goes the 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 other brother monks were like yo man this dude was a drunk he's a disgraceful and then saint paisus was like that man's soul is going up to heaven right now and they're like elder you crazy what you talking about this, this, this fool right here no nah, no way no way yo elder no nah. and it's and he was like he's like y'all saw a drunk person but god saw a fighter because what apparently these these other monks ain't see was that this man who had this really bad battle with alcohol would ever so slightly try to break it down a little bit by a little bit. I mean, ever so slightly he'd try to, like he'd go from drinking a certain amount of shots a day and slowly bring it down. I think it's like each year he could, he managed to reduce about one. And then next year he'd reduce about one. Next year he'd reduce about one, right? And then when he died he wouldn't, he wouldn't at zero. You know, he didn't, he, he wasn't successful in how we would want to imagine it um, when overcoming a problem. But the, uh, the effort he made, God saw that and God was like, all right, that's a real one. You coming with me. You know what I mean? And um, so they're kind of, you know, both of those things. Uh, by St. Pace, us, us choosing what we allow to land into our heart and also, you know, never stop making the effort to do better. Even if we don't fully overcome it, we damn show sure best to keep trying. You know what I mean? Anyway, there's some stuff on my mind I just want to let y'all in on. So, love y'all. Hope y'all doing well. Whatever you're struggling with, man, never stop fighting against it. I mean, yeah, it may not, it may not feel better soon. You may, you may not feel better soon, but your 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 efforts are not being ignored. Like God's watching you. No, God knows you're trying. God knows we're trying, and He with us. So I love y'all. Keep up the good fight. Keep struggling. 
Y'all pray for me. Love y'all. See y'all next time. Bye.